In this History Illustrated video, we will discuss lines of longitude and the prime meridian. Previously, we discussed lines of latitude and how they run in circles around the Earth, but that none of them actually crossed each other's path. Well, longitude lines, also called meridians, are very similar but very different at the exact same time. Just like parallels, meridians run in circles around the Earth, but instead of running around the Earth sideways, they run up and down. Parallels measure how far north or south you are from the equator, but meridians measure how far east or west you are. One other major difference between meridians and parallels is that while lines of latitude never cross each other's path, lines of longitude do. Every meridian crosses at the axis twice, once at the North Pole and once at the South Pole. So traveling north along a meridian means you will eventually get to the North Pole. And if you kept following that same line because the Earth is round, it would eventually lead you to the South Pole also. So drawing lines of longitude on a sphere kind of makes it look like a beach ball. Whereas drawing lines of latitude just kind of cut the sphere into layers like a cake. When adding the starting place for parallels, it was easy to just find the middle of the Earth and draw the line. They just had to put it in the middle between the North and the South Pole. But for meridians, there is no middle. Because the Earth spins sideways, it doesn't matter which meridian you pick to be the main one. The main meridian wouldn't divide the Earth based on daylight or seasons or anything. It exists just to make it easier for us to measure the location of something. In 1884, 22 countries held the International Meridian Conference in Washington, D.C., where they voted to pick the main meridian. They chose for it to go through Greenwich, England. Today, we call this the Prime Meridian. Everything to the east is in the Eastern Hemisphere, and everything to the west of it is in the Western Hemisphere. So meridians allow us to measure how far east or west something is, and parallels allow us to measure how far north or south something is. When you combine these, you can find out exactly where something in the world is.